The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. You know, there's a fellow in Miami involved in the shul, and the shul every year has a Mlav Malka. And the shul had a grand Mlav Malka, went to Shabbos, and the, the Rav is there, everyone's there. And the Rav goes over to a fellow, and he sees this fellow, he's just walking around, and he says, you know, he says, I don't understand, we have an ice cream bar here. Why aren't you taking ice cream? I know you like ice cream. Why don't you take some ice cream? He says, Rabbi, no ice cream for me tonight. Come on, are you on a diet? You can go and take some ice cream. You can handle it. I know you like ice cream. Rabbi, it's okay. I'm not taking any ice cream. Everything okay? He said, Rabbi, I'll tell you the truth. You remember a few weeks ago, you gave a speech, and the rockets were falling on Sterot. The Arabs were throwing rockets at the Yidin in Sterot. And you said, we should all try to do something. We should all be macabre with something upon ourselves. So what should I say? I can't go join the army. I can't write a check. Nothing I can do but shooting down the missiles. So I'm macabre upon myself. While the Yidin are being subjected to these missiles falling in steroid, I'm not going to eat any ice cream. This is my way of being Imei Nechi Bitsara. And therefore, I have not eaten any ice cream since then. In fact, there was once... A girl from high school, she was in 10th grade, she was on the phone, and her parents over here, she gives a scream, a loud scream. And they start listening, what's going on? They hear her say, yay, tonight I can sleep with a pillow. And she speaks another few more minutes, and she comes downstairs. And her father says, what's going on? She says, nothing. She says, what do you mean? I heard you talking on the phone. Yeah, I'm talking on the phone, I always talk on the phone. She said, no, no, but you said something about sleeping with a pillow tonight. So, oh, I'll tell you the truth. My principal has been very sick. She had a terrible disease and she was in the hospital for the past few weeks. So my class got together and we each took upon a Kabbalah upon ourselves. So I was macabre not to sleep with a pillow while my principal is still in the hospital. I just got news that she's being released from the hospital. So tonight I can sleep with a pillow. Do you think her principal felt any better that she wasn't sleeping with a pillow? The answer is a Kaddish Baruch who saw that one year is in Sar for another year. Yimai Nechi Bitsara, and that has tremendous ramifications. And we shouldn't think that it doesn't have. Because would anybody be surprised to know that that girl who didn't sleep with the pillow without telling her parents was the daughter of that person who wasn't eating ice cream? These things spread. People can tell when someone else is nice about Chaveri. People can tell, people can feel. People are affected when other people are even even though logically you don't see the connection. And if we really can't do anything, if we really can't do anything, we really can't give anything up. We don't have, we don't know what to do. So then we learn from Rav Nassim Tzvi, Rav Finkel, the great mirror of Shiva. Those are the schus to see him as he progressed in his illness, it got more and more difficult for him, his Parkinson's, and he got weaker and weaker. And one day, a young man came to him, and Rav Nassim was so weak, he was lying on the couch. And this young man had a terrible problem. He had a child who was very, very ill. He just came back from the doctor, and things didn't look good. And he came, he came to speak to Rav Shiva to get a bracha, Rav Shiva Shaddam for him, but the Rav Shiva was completely spent. He had no kayach. So the fellow sits down, and he starts to pour out his heart to Rav Shiva. Rav Shiva's lying there, and he starts to move his lips. The person bent over, put his ear by the Rashiva's lips, and he heard a Nostasi said, I don't have any kaya to Davin. You sit here and say till him, and I'll lie on the couch and cry for you. And Kachav, the person sat there and said till him, and the Rashiva lay on the couch and cried for him. You can always do something for somebody else. There's no such thing that I can't do. We can always cry for another year if we have to. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.